The magnet is pointing north at the red north end of the magnet. The armature turns freely and when the magnet is turned and the armature is turned, it swings back and forth like a pendulum, east and west. There's nothing turning that armature except for the magnet. Here's the close-up. So you see that wood block has the N20 motor attached to it. And then underneath, you'll see the 9-volt battery, the PCB board, and I'm trying to show the uh, servo, that blue thing. And this red thing here, this red tube, is a photoresistor. So when the photoresistor passes the light, that activates that servo. So here's the motor running at about 100 RPM. Maybe more. And I'm controlling this by infrared using a, a little remote controller, TV remote controller. And I can turn on the uh, servo and the photo cell which I turned on and now I apply a light here and it's swinging out on the front. You can't see it because it's too fast, but I'll slow it down for you. And in theory, that creates magnetic inertial propulsion because as the weight, that five gram weight swings out, it removes the center of mass away from the center of magnetic torque. You could also think of it like centrifugal force if you'd like, but that's not really how it works. So I'm going to stop the motor, and you can see that weight swing out when the photoresistor passes the light. So if nothing else, this is a cool robot with a motor and a servo and a remote control. I think the acrylic armature adds a nice touch. So thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and rumble.